Jay Mello, Jacob, with uh, USA Today. Um, they showed before the game and then obviously after the kind of interactions you had with Carmelo tonight. Uh, what'd you, what did he kind of say to you and just what do you think of uh, kind of getting that respect from someone like him? It was nice. I mean, pretty much it's all love, showing respect both ways. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you. Yeah. Chris Jess. Hello, Melo. How are you? What uh, was the biggest lesson of that trip for you? And uh, what would you like to carry on after those uh, road trips? Can you repeat that for me? Yeah. What uh, was the biggest lesson of tonight's game for you? And what would you like to carry on from that road trip? Um, I mean, I feel like it was just tough down the stretch, I guess. Pretty much all about it, just lock in. Pretty much just look forward to the next game and try to get a win for that one. Generally sticking the pass. Rick Bunnell. Well, Melo, 30 some games into your first NBA season. What has the volume of games been like? Have, have you had any sort of a challenge keeping yourself physically and mentally fresh through all this? Uh, I mean, I feel like I'm young. 19, I feel like I play all day, so no, I really haven't had any problems. Robin. Hey, Melo, uh, last five games or so, man, you've been, you know, scoring 20 plus points per game. Just what are you seeing out there on the floor that's allowed you to kind of score the ball the way you have? Are you just feeling more comfortable? Teammates feeling funny? What's happening at you scoring the ball the way you have on this road trip so far? I um, mean, yeah, I'm just letting the game come to me. Playing basketball, I mean, that's pretty much as simple as that. Nick Carboni. Rick asked my question, so I'm all set. Thank you. Will, go ahead. LaMelo, as you uh, continue to get used to teams seeing you for the first time, a lot of them will have a scout on you and – as you go about developing your game, how do you counteract kind of the book that has been written about what your tendencies are and what you like to do? What was your question again? As far as just how teams are guarding you, how do you adjust to knowing, I guess, what's coming from other teams and, and how do you adjust to kind of what they're expecting from you? Uh, just, I mean, like I said, I just go out there and play basketball, whatever defense gives me, I work from that. That's pretty much it.